Today I've got some Jack Daniels whiskeys and ryes, some Barstown Bourbon Companies, bourbons and ryes, and they're going to go head to head in a blind flight challenge. It's Lynchburg versus Barstown. Everybody, welcome back. I'm DMC from Louisville, Kentucky. Welcome to Prescription Bourbon. All right, so this past uh, year or so, uh, both these companies, uh, Jack Daniels and Barstown Bourbon Company, have released uh, multiple new releases, uh, some exciting uh, products on the market. So Jack Daniels has these three bonded whiskeys they released. They have a Tennessee whiskey, a Tennessee rye, and a triple mash blend, which is a blend of their Tennessee whiskey, their Tennessee rye, and some single malt. Bar Sound Berm Company also has had three releases they've released uh, this past year or so that they call their Origin Series. All three of these come in at six years old. Uh, there's a straight bourbon that has a rye mash bill and it comes in at 96 proof. There's a straight rye whiskey which is finished in toasted cherry and oak barrels. And there is a weeded bourbon mash bill, which actually is bottled and bond. So uh, the rye and the rye bourbon are both 96 proof. The weeded bourbon mash bill is 100 proof. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take um, the triple mash out of this mix. And I'm gonna take the weeded bourbon out of this mix. And that leaves us with Tennessee whiskey and rye and a bourbon and rye. And for all intents and purposes, we're gonna call Tennessee whiskey a bourbon. We'll call it a bourbon. So we got two bourbons, two ryes from Jack Daniels from Barson Bourbon. Both these are 100 proof. Both these are 96 proof. Both these are six years old or older. And both of these are four years old or older. So there we go. All right. I'm going to slide these a little bit out now and pull my glasses in. I've got these poured already. Actually, I already got them mixed up, but I can do a little bit more, more mixing, I guess. But I've got four glasses poured. So these are in a random order now. They're not lined up with bottles at all. But I'm going to go through and do a nosing, do a tasting, and tell you how I rank these to my taste preferences. Call this glass A on uh, my right, your left, and B, C, D. So starting with the nose on glass A. All right, that definitely has some uh, some sweet vanilla. I caught a hint of a fruit there, but I lost it. So I'll just call that sweet vanilla. Glass B. All right, this has more of a rye nose to me. Just a hint of an evergreen note on that, so glass C. Uh, a little more subtle than the first two, or else my nose is just overpowered by that second glass. Getting a, just a mix of the first two, honestly, so I'm still smelling some evergreen. I hope it's this glass and not the previous glass. Just a hint of that, but this has some more going on than just that. It does have, I think, some oak and some sweet in there. Right? So it really is a mix of those first two on the nose. So. And the last final glass D. No evergreen on this one, no mint. If anything, it does have a slight yeasty smell to it. I think I am pulling out some some caramel sweetness on that too. So this my, the first one. Let me hit it again. So just at a, at a first pass, the two outside ones uh, in P have more similar noses to each other than the two inside ones uh, B and C have, are similar also. So we will see what that means. 
this one had uh, had the most vanilla on it. This one had uh, was almost pure evergreen. And a nice evergreen, like fresh cut, um, you know, garland or something. Uh, you would have it around the holidays. This one has just a hint of evergreen with, with some oak and stuff, and this. And that one's uh, got some. Uh, Got a little bit of uh, yeasty uh, vanilla on it, so uh, the fruit I th thought I had on A is there. It's on, It's just on the fringe. Not enough for me to get a hold of it and name it or anything, but a uh, little fruit. So there we go. Um, which one do I like the best here? C and D, I think, have my top two noses. I'm gonna have to go with C. is my is the most interesting nose of the bunch. So it's it's got a little bit of uh, stuff from all of them, and uh, it's definitely an interesting nose. All right, we'll go in and start the tasty down. Class A. Cheers. All right, this one is first sip a lot spicier than I was expecting it's very very peppery very I mean just immediate pepper spice on this nice warmth I mean borderline hot so it's a really warm sip stays on the tongue a lot I did get a, a bready a bready taste on this though too so she did not get on the nose and it does have a does have a slight uh, sweet on the edge of the tongue and all that as it, as it comes in. So kind of a kind of a brown sugar sweetness and a heavy uh, pepper spice on that. So nice, uh, nice long finish. The warmth just lingers and the pepper lingers with it. It, it tails off slowly. So going on, taste of glass B now. Cheers. Class B is sweeter for sure, oakier for sure. It's got some drying qualities on the tongue. The spice isn't as hot as, as A was, but it is similar. It's a, it's a peppery spice. Not as warm in the mouth or on the tongue or going down. And shorter finish though, so, um, so sweeter. A little bit, uh, tap it drying, uh, not, not in a bad way. Um, so it is uh, definitely a little bit more muted than than it was. I mean, it has has different flavors and you know different experience going on there. But um, A was loud, and uh, B is a little bit quieter. So go for the taste on glass C. Cheers. It's nice. As sweet as B, um, it's a nicer sweet. It's uh, it's definitely like a like a caramel sweetness coming in there. Um, the spice. Spice is sneaky. Um, it, it didn't hit right away. Um, wasn't there immediately or anything, but um, as the finish progressed, that's when the spice got stronger and stronger going towards the finish, so uh, on the tongue especially. So once again, it wasn't as hot as A. That's nice. Very nice. All right. Go for the final taste on glass D. Cheers. All right, this guy's hot. Um, after the last two that, that weren't as hot as A, this one's hot again. So, I don't know if it's as hot as A or not, or hotter. Um, the spice didn't, once again, didn't hit immediately but it comes in strong on the sides of the edges of the tongue, and it's a hot spice. Um, a 
There's a little bit of oak dryingness there also. Has a little bit uh, of slight uh, heavier viscosity than the other ones too, as far as the mouthfeel goes. Just, uh, just from my first pass though, I'm uh, gonna say this is my least favorite on the taste. So, um, in fact, I'm gonna say B is right behind it. So, I'm gonna go back through and narrow this down to A and C. But um, I'm gonna say B comes in second. I mean, second. To I'm gonna say B comes in second to last. Um, and B's gonna be in my last place. But if I go back through and compare A and C here. Pick my favorite today. Pricing on these also is is a little um, a little off. Um, you know, these are both uh, bonded products, uh, but these are both in the thirty thirty five dollar price range. They are actually only seven hundred milliliters, so they they do make liter bottles also. But these that I have are seven hundred milliliters, so they're slightly smaller than a seven fifty, uh, but they're only in the thirty thirty five dollar price range. But also Jack Jones is a big, big player in the whiskey business. So obviously the bigger distilleries have that uh, economies of scale and they can uh, put stuff out a little cheaper. Uh, these Barstowns uh, vary the, the weeded that I had that, 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 and this uh, rye uh, bourbon mash bill um, are both around $50. Actually, this one I've been able to find for $45 or so. So not crazy more than, than the Jack Daniels, you know, we call this 35. These are, I can get this for 45. The rye, however, now this is finished and the, the toast is sherry wood and whatever, but um, this is up like $70. So, um, you know, so this is like twice as expensive as the Jack Daniels rye. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see where all these finish out. But now we'll say these are aged longer, as I said, six years, and the bottle presentation is definitely fancier. The, the cork um, is synthetic with a heavy metal stopper, thick glass um, embossed on the back, um, and all that. So these you know, these these bottles are a little fancier. These are a little bit more basic. Although um, Jack, Jack, Jack Daniels did step it up and they did go with the actual cork in these with the you know little wood on the top and the cork, so they're not screw tops, but um, but it is a familiar looking bottle. All right. Go back through, I'm gonna do C and then A, and um, hopefully we'll be able to figure out which one I like, so. Glass C. That caramel sweetness definitely hits immediately. A bit of oak drying there, and the spice comes very late. Um, so the spice just envelops the tongue as, as the finish is dwindling off. So it's a nice, nice sip, nice experience there. I like that. Let's see. I think I definitely didn't have the same results on A that I had the first time. Um, this one. There is some breadiness here. I, I think I got before this one. The spice didn't hit as quickly as it did the first time. It it, it is it does come a little later. Um, there is some sweetness now that I didn't pick up the first time, or maybe just you know, B and C were just a lot sweeter. It does have a long finish though, and uh, and it's nice, but. Um, I'm definitely definitely gonna put C in front of it. So I think C was one of my favorite noses, and C is just way more balanced, um, just more well-rounded, and a, a super enjoyable sip. Really, really like this this guy. All right, so. Go through and reveal my results. But before I do, I want to remind everybody, hit that like button, hit subscribe, leave some comments down below if you've tried any of these uh, Barstown Bourbon Company origin releases or these uh, Jack Daniels Bonnet Series releases. Um, 
what, what you think of them, um, you know, what you think of my rankings, that once you see them and all that, uh, leave some comments. But, but yeah, definitely hit the like, hit subscribe. It really helps the channel. Really appreciate all my subscribers out there. So, all right, fourth place rankings today goes to the Jack Daniels Bonded. So, um, it's this guy. So uh, he comes in last place, fourth place today. Um, enjoyed the nose on it. But the taste, after tasting all the other ones, just wasn't there for me. It was not, was not, uh, was not my favorite. All right, glass B comes in third place. Let's see what we get. This is the Barstown Burp Company Rye. So this guy way over here. So this is the one that is um, finished in um, toasted cher cherry and oak barrels. Uh, mash bill on this is 95% rye, 5% malt, malty barley. So it is a 95.5 rye. Um, definitely could tell it was a rye on the nose. Taste was was not bad at all. I, you know, I enjoyed it, um, but these other two I just enjoyed better. So, all right, glass A comes in second place today, and this is the Jack Daniels ride. So, this guy over here. So, you know, this is Bob and Bond Hunter Proof, minimum four years old. I think what got me on this was the uh, was the breadiness on the taste. It does it does have a lot of spice on it. Um, I will say, but there's some breadiness on the taste too. So we just just held it back. But that leaves glass C as the winner today. My favorite of these, and this is the Barstown Bourbon Company. Uh, Rye mash bill bourbon, or just the bar summer honey bourbon. So this this guy is fantastically um, well rounded. Um, the nose had more going on than any other ones, and the taste is the same. It's got it's got. I don't want to say layers, but um, they just get waves. It comes in waves, so you you, know, you you get the sweet, you get a little oak, and you get the spice, and it just comes in waves. So very nice. Love this. All right, this was fun. This was a nice experiment, but uh, the winner today is the Barstown Bourbon Company uh, bourbon. Which is not the, you know, which price wise is, is not that much more than these other guys. So it's, it's, a, it's a good pickup. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hit that like button and subscribe on the way out. But remember, everybody, all bourbon is whiskey, but all whiskey is not bourbon. The best bourbon comes from Kentucky. Cheers. Okay.